This is a very simple little jig that is being made to hold a three inch by one inch brass plate for engraving. This uses a wedging clamp and the manual location function. So to create this, we simply create a region that is just a little bit larger than the plate itself. Now notice we created this bump out here so that we can drop our touch plate on top of our plate in order to be able to find our bit tip. <clears throat> we then create a pocket for the wedge to drop into. We create the wedge by simply creating a uh, uh, pocket region, putting a drill hole in that we can use our T-handle Allen wrench to uh, be able to pop it out once it's wedged in and then cut the whole thing out. To locate our bit, we create a hole right in the corner. That will be our location hole. Since I am using a 120 degree diamond tipped uh, engraving bit, I've made this hole so that that bit can drop right into that to make it easy to locate. When setting up an engraving project, you can want to set your resolution to at least 512, though you can go up to 1024. If you are going to 1024, just make sure that you keep the board size small. Now, when applying a bit to an engraving, whether it's text or, or lines, you have two mechanisms to control the boldness of the engraving. First is the depth. The depth actually translates to the amount of force that will be applied to the drag bit. The other mechanism is you can set it up to do multiple passes. This will make the engraving deeper as well. And then when we go and we put it in to the uh, jig, we're going to locate on that hole and we will be finding this corner. To do that, we just simply hit compile and use the manual placement. Once we click that, the machine will not prompt you for any of the other questions. It will simply go to compiling it onto the board. Show you this real quick, simple little jig, all done with an eighth inch bit. Make the little wedge piece right in the jig. Pops right in there. Drop in your plate, and then just wedge in the plate. Use your T-handle to pop that out, to remove that. This hole over here is used to locate the corner. If you're doing a manual jig, Manually move your truck and use the arrow to position yourself. And you should put that right down there so you can just tap it into place. If you just tap the uh, button, it'll just move X just in small increments. And we can just position that until we have it. So we can just drop our bit right in our hole. We've located that corner perfectly. And it'll ask you to put the bit in. We'll go ahead and, and put the bit if we haven't already put it in. And then we're going to go ahead and jog this over to place our plate. That's the J. Is, in this case, we've carved out a larger region, so we can go ahead and drop our plate right on there. And we'll go ahead and drop down. This is a diamond tip, so this is actually using a force to calculate the touch rather than the electrical connection. Go ahead and close the cover. 